once more. But anticipation is a funny thing. My associates and I are hard at work, refining a cacophony of new traps to raise a sharp perfection. You should expect nothing less. These traps will be made all the better with just a little time. The clock is ticking. Will you play my waiting game? Your time starts now. What's going on everybody and welcome to the Jigsaw Files, your home for all things Saw. And it is officially confirmed my friends, Saw 11 is delayed until September 26th, 2025. That's a full year from the initial release date. The news of course came out from the Saw social media pages where they did a little video message from our favorite puppet Billy, essentially saying that he needs more time to perfect the traps. Which honestly is a pretty cool way to announce the delay. And that's one thing, you gotta give a round of applause to the Saw marketing team who ever since the beginning, again, I know you probably have new people coming in, maybe some of them are still the same from the old days, but uh, yeah, the Saw marketing team has always been on point. But yes, the film is delayed until next September, and again, all we really know for the reason of the delay is that they're gonna need more time. Now, I can't confirm this 100%, but this is kind of what I've been hearing a little bit, and it does seem to line up. So, Twisted Pictures is actually producing this thriller with Sophie Turner called Trust, and apparently it's also shooting in Mexico City, and they wanted to kind of shoot Saw 11 and Trust kind of at the same time to cut some costs. Which that makes sense to do, if that's the case. But previously, I talked about that there could be a delay due to a too many cooks in the kitchen type of situation that doesn't seem to be the case here i mean maybe that's part of it we don't really know for sure but from what it's looking like right now it seems to be like that's the reason for the delay right there and speaking of shooting schedule i don't have confirmation on this but from what i'm hearing saw 11 is getting ready to start shooting in may and I see that a lot of the Saw community is very upset, and understandably so, but I really think that there are two sides to look at here. Naturally, as a selfish Saw fan, yeah, I, it is a bummer that the film's been delayed a whole year because we want a new Saw movie this year. But on the other hand, I think ultimately this is a good thing for the movie because now they can really take their time working on this thing and deliver a better quality product because you have to remember that Saw X set standards, not just for the Saw fans, but for the casual going audience as well. And if you don't meet those expectations, that could be a very bad thing for the Saw franchise going forward. And if they're getting ready to start shooting in May with a film coming out in September, that's going to be a very rushed and messy production. And that would definitely affect the quality of the film. So while it sucks that the release date got pushed a whole year, this does give them more time to work on the film with less pressure, the entire cast and crew will probably feel a big sigh of relief, and uh, you know, we can hopefully get a good quality product in the meantime. But ultimately, I do think this is a good thing for the film because the entire cast and crew have way less pressure now that they don't have to meet that September 2024 deadline. I'm sure there's going to be less stress on set. I mean, it's, uh, you're doing a movie. It's always going to be stressful, but you're not going to have that particular stress, which is good. Now, I do want to bring this up. In previous interviews, Twisted Pictures producers Mark Berg and Oren Cools have teased not only Saw 11, but Saw 12 as well. And with them delaying the release date a whole year, that does open up the possibility of them to shoot Saw 11 and 12 back to back. It seems like they definitely know where they want to go with Saw 12, but I don't know if the scripts have even been written. And to be honest, they're probably focusing on Saw 11 and Saw 11 only right now. But hey, we have a whole year now, so maybe that is something they could do. And being that they still want to shoot in Mexico City and knowing that we're going to be picking up from where we left off in Saw X, maybe Saw X 11 and 12 is the Mexico trilogy of the Saw franchise. In which case, not a bad idea to shoot 11 and 12 back to back. Will that happen? I don't know. I'm speculating here. Again, I want them to focus on Saw 11, make it the best that it can be, and then we'll worry about Saw 12. I'm just saying, if that's something that Mark and Orin are already seeing into the future of, not a bad thing to consider. And for those of you who are sitting there right now, like, oh man, the film's been pushed a whole year. All these Saw channels are going to be pretty quiet. Well, not this one, because I am here to reassure you, my friends. We are going to keep doing plenty of Saw content throughout the course of the next year. We still got the entire back half of the Book of Saw, the ultimate timeline that's going to be coming out. There's reviews, there's rankings, there's commentary slash watch parties. Like, we'll find stuff to do. 
And not to mention they're gonna get ready to start filming soon, then we're still gonna have the normal Saw 11 updates. So there's gonna be plenty of Saw content to look forward to, don't worry. And if you guys are new here and you're Saw fans, be sure to hit that subscribe button as this is your home for all things Saw. Hit that like button as that helps push things along in the algorithm and hit that notification bell as that helps you guys stay up to date with anything and everything we do over here on the Jigsaw Files. And with that down, that's all I can say for today, guys. So until next time, game over.